There are uh, parts of society that, that, I don't know, they're mad about the kneeling, so you're going to see pictures on certain news sites of stadiums that, that appear to be empty, and I saw a long list of them. Again, they're not empty, but just a lot of, of open seats. It, 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 what do you, how do you uh, explain what's happening in stadiums? Is attendance down in stadiums, and, and what's it due to? The Our attendance is off about 1%, and remember, we have uh, two teams that are, are going through major transitions in Los Angeles, playing in two different yeah. Prairie stadiums. Yeah, well, doing well. Uh, we have a team that's be moving to Las Vegas shortly. So, uh, you know, we're very, very pleased where our attendants are. We always want to see those numbers go up, but we're about 98% of capacity. So the seats are, so, what, what, what are those pictures? Well, you always get that when you get that late in the season, particularly if the team isn't in the run and you get that. Uh, the other thing we see an awful lot of that our stadiums are so good now that fans are staying back inside and enjoying the premium aspect right. of it. And you see a lot of empty seats there. And that's another challenge for us. Well, but we'll, overall, we have to work harder to get people into our stadiums. On the issue of the kneeling, I just have one Colin Kaepernick question. There was reports earlier that the NFL invited Colin Kaepernick to meet uh, with you. Mm -hmm. And then that he may have uh, said, yes, I want to do that, but I want to bring a mediator with us. And then the NFL said, no. What, what's the state of of play with these kind of conversations and where you stand on all of this? Well, it's a, it's a little more complicated. We've always invited uh, Colin to come over. Uh, he's welcome to come over and meet at any point in time. So we had an open door on that. There were some meetings set up with the Players Coalition. They were invited by the Players Coalition. My understanding is they extended the invitations in that circumstance. Uh, but it, he's always welcome to join that. And the Players Coalition is, a, is an entity that we've been working very closely with, and frankly, we've had unprecedented dialogue. Do you think he that. should be playing? You look, you look at the other quarterbacks I, in the league. I think that's, oh. you know, each, every, every club's got to make those decisions, Andrew. I mean, they make those decisions based on a lot of factors that are best for their football team, and when they do that, that's what's in the hey, best interest. But when you see LeBron James and other people out, outside of football say he's being blackballed, what do, you, what do you think about that? Uh, I don't agree with that. Uh, Roger, I, I you... Think, again, I think our teams are making the best decisions for what they need as a football team. I, I've gone back and forth on, on uh, the chicken and egg thing. Without the fans, you don't have football. Without the football players, that the, I mean, right. the, there'd be no fans. So it's a, a chicken and egg thing. But uh, you've gotten criticism probably from, you're, you're coddling the players, you're coddling the owners. You're, you've got to take the long game, I, I, I right. would imagine. <laughs> you've got some yes. negotiations coming up down the road with the players. You don't want, you know, you don't want the players to, to feel like they're, they're something other than, than employees. I mean, they're, the owners, don't, you know, they, they, they aren't going to tell the players what they absolutely have to do because we all have freedom of speech and everything else. But is there a way? To walk that line where you where you register a protest just not during the anthem is that that's sort of what some teams have come up with, but I, I, but you can't can you actually say don't do it during the anthem? Then that's going to say you know there's going to be people that, that chafe under under that. Well, Joe, we have, we respect how are you going to do this? We respect our players, and right. we've had an incredible amount of dialogue between the league, the owners, the players, and what we've tried to do is create a new platform, which you're seeing unfold actually over the last several weeks and, and going forward that is going to give them an opportunity and for us to highlight their important work in the community to make their communities better. And I, we think that that is going to serve. That's what the players really wanted. These are issues that we want to address in these communities and we want the NFL's support. But, but and they're still we'll, kneeling we'll, yesterday, uh, quite a few. Right? Very limited number. And we think that we're going to be able to address right. that at some point. And eventually the there'll be... We hope, we hope to get... We want all our players But it'll standing. never be an edict that says no kneeling during, during the... Or no, or you must stand during the anthem. That's not I think from our standpoint, we think we're going to be able to address this right. effectively. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.